Hi, oh YouTube. My name is Dexter, and welcome to a theorycraft video that I'm tentatively renaming all of these Dex builds because my name is Dexter, and I like building things. I like using my brain to think about stuff. So I'm tentatively renaming all of the stuff Dex builds. Hopefully, I'll get the idea eventually to actually build other things in other games, like in Warframe, talk about some builds that I like to use that may or may not be the norm or dark so no not dark souls basically it'll just I'll, I'll, i'm tentative on how i want to go about this i'm not i haven't fully decided yet but i do want to call this stuff dex builds because i think it's funny but we're uh theory crafting mephisto a lot of this is going to be theory craft uh for heroes of the storm so we're theory crafting mephisto today rather i'm theory crafting mephisto today uh lord of hatred that's all I know about him. I know his uh, bio says that he is the smartest and most cunning of all of the lords of hell. All the prime evils. Uh, I'm mildly disappointed that he's an assassin. I was kind of hoping he would be a specialist. But he's an assassin. And a lot, 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 a lot of his kit is revolving around the Lord of Hatred passive. Hitting enemy heroes with basic abilities reduces Mephisto's basic ability cooldowns. Skull Missile and Shade of Mephisto take 1.5 seconds off of cooldowns, or off all of his cooldowns, while Lightning Nova grants 0.3 seconds per hero hit. Um, it, it comes in handy, having built-in spell-based battle momentum. Uh, he basically has a kit similar to Li Ming and Arthas, but I feel like he's probably going to be worse than both. I don't know yet. Uh, that's just my predictions, but we're going to get into his basic abilities, uh, starting with the Skull Missile. Conjure a skull that travels in the dark direction after almost a second, dealing 132 damage to enemies hit and slowing them by 25%. So it looks like this. You walk out, and you throw this thing. There's the skull. Every enemy hero will get hit by this thing. So if you hit three people, you can basically cast it a second time. You hit four people, you take off the entire cooldown. And you're good to go. So that's Skull Missile. It's a little annoying because it has a delay on it, but that's what it looks like. Am I slower than normal? I... He's very, very, like, jittery. Like, while I'm moving, I look very jittery. I also am not a super big fan of his design. I'm really not. I... I don't know, he just doesn't look... He doesn't look that intimidating. He doesn't look that threatening. But, then again, he is the Lord of Hatred, not the Lord of I'm Terrifying. That's Diablo. But that's Skull Missile. His W button is called Lightning Nova, and it hits everything in the outer rim. You cannot hit anybody if you're standing directly on top of them, or if they're standing directly on top of you. But, a ring of lightning appears around Mephisto for two and a half seconds. Enemies within the ring take... Two, or take 50 damage every quarter of a second. So that's 200 damage every second they take. Each time a lightning, each time lightning nova hits an enemy hero, it does bonus damage, increasing by four percent up to, or increasing by four percent up to 40. There, yeah, that's those are words. So it looks like this. Blah. So when it starts sparking those purple numbers, you know you've hit them. You know you've hit critical mass. I do like his auto attacks, though. They look like little uh, little lightning bolts. And then lastly, my last ability, my basic ability, is called Shade of Mephisto. That's on a really long cooldown. Wow, I didn't realize. Um, but you blink towards an area, dealing damage on arrival, 81 damage at level 1, and leaving a shade behind at the original location. After 2.5 seconds, you are teleported back to the shade no matter what. You cannot activate it again to go back immediately, but you can still, <clears throat> or you will warp back there no matter what's happening to you outside of you dying. If you're stunned, snared, silenced, or slowed, you will warp back to your shade as soon as its duration is over. So you can use it to pull off some pretty cheeky plays like I just did. Imagine, imagine these two were uh, enemies that were super low on health. You'd just blink in, you'd throw the skull missile, and then you'd leave. Because you'd be forced to leave. It'd look a little bit like this. So, standing on this side of the bush, 
Warp over, throw the thing out, hit Lightning Nova, maybe, and then you'd leave. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, that's all of his abilities. Well, his basic abilities. We should probably check out his ultimates. I like Durance of Hate. I don't care what any of these are. Um, Consume Souls is just Karthus's ultimate from League of Legends. If you've played League of Legends and you've played Karthus, you know exactly what Consume Souls does. Channel for two and a half seconds instead of four seconds. Channel for two and a half seconds, revealing all enemy heroes. After the channel completes, all enemy heroes take 530 damage and are slowed for 40% for two and a half seconds. So, you hit the button. Let our enemy be revealed. Uh, okay, so it didn't, didn't, didn't show what I wanted it to show. I'll toggle enemy hero. Select enemy hero. Let's bring out an Uberak. And we're gonna toggle cooldowns just to show you what this looks like. So, Anubarak is over here. Enemy hides here. Every single enemy hero. All of them. The burning hells. I don't know why they gave him this. But they did. And I'm not happy about it. <clears throat> I understand power creep. I understand that's what it is. That's the reason why. But I'm still not happy about it. So, that was Consume Souls. I like Durance of Hate more, because it's actually, it doesn't do damage, or it doesn't do nearly as much damage, but it's a lot of crowd control, if you can land it right. Uh, the way it works is after one second, you unleash a wave of evil spirits that root the first enemy you hit for two seconds and deal the same amount, oh, whoops, I don't want to mount up, and deal the same amount of damage to them over the snare duration. So you do like 500 damage over two seconds instead of 530 damage immediately to everything. Additionally, if Durance of Hate hits something, hits a hero, it'll spread outward. If anybody walks into the outward spread, they'll also be snared in place. So it looks a little something like this. You throw it out, then they go out. And then while that's spreading, any ally or any enemy that's in that area will also take damage and be slowed, or and be snared. So you throw it out, you hit that dude, then it expands outward. If you have a team to work with, you can get a lot of benefit out of this. It, uh, it, it's, it's interesting. I like it. I like it a lot more than the Consume Souls, but I know Consume Souls is going to be the go-to, because uninteractive ability is uninteractive. You've got to get to him in two and a half seconds. Somewhere on the map. But yeah, that's, uh, I'm not looking forward to eating that, uh, at level 10. That's not going to be fun for me. So, now we're going to go over his basic talents. Should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, or not his basic talents, all of his talents. Uh, starting with Unyielding Power. Empower Skull Missile. Hit enemy heroes 20 times to increase Skull Missile's, skull missile's damage by 60. If you hit 40 heroes, Skull Missile's cooldown is permanently reduced to 5 seconds. What? Okay. That sounds fun. <clears throat> or Furious Spark. Every fifth hit from Lightning Nova against the target deals 197 damage. I want to see what that damage is at level 1. Choose a talent. 94 damage. Basically, four hits. The fifth hit will re-add another stack of damage on them. Okay, so you'd be able to get two procs out of that if you do it absolutely flawlessly. Because it lasts for two and a half seconds. No, you'd be able to do it more than twice. You'd be able to do that, whatever 25 divided by 0.25, or, yeah. Whatever 2.5 is divided by, I think it's like ten times. Well, no, that's how many times it hits. It hits ten times, I think. Math is hard. I'm an idiot. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it'd be every every fifth hit, so you'd be able to proc it twice. Sorry, I'm, I'm really bad at math today. Holy shit. You'd be able to do it every... Or you'd be able to proc it twice if you were standing... If you were standing at the absolutely perfect spot. There is... Yeah, that's how that would work. So, every fifth hit gets you 184 damage which is basically another full another second of dealing damage to them. So, really hard to pull off, 
but it would deal a lot of damage. Malicious Intent. Mephisto, or Shade of Mephisto, grants 25 or 20 spell power while active and for two and a half seconds. So five seconds of 20% more spell damage. Okay. That seems strong as well. And Anger. Basic attacks against enemy heroes also activate Lord of Hatred, reducing basic ability cooldowns by 0.75 seconds. So if you wanted to be a hybrid, I guess they got you covered for Mephisto? Although I don't know why you'd want to be hybrid Mephisto. He's got a short attack range. Although I guess it's because you can blink. You just warp in and you're like, ah, it's booga booga, and then you leave. So I guess that's how that works. I honestly think Unyielding Power is the best. Because it takes cooldown off of your primary ability, off your biggest damage dealer, or your most consistent damage dealer, and if you hit enough people with it, makes it so you don't have to hit nearly as many people with it to lower its cooldown again. I don't... I, I think Unyielding Power is the one I would go with, because Hatred is cool. Either Hatred or Malicious Intent. This would be... Just if you can blink around a lot, you'd get a lot of benefit out of it because it's 5 seconds of 25 or 20% 20 bonus spell damage. I don't know if it'd be more damage than unyielding power, but it'd definitely be more, like, I don't want to say ubiquitous, but it'd be easier to pull off because all you have to do is hit the E button and then you're good to go. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump our way up to level 20. Um, again, rather. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna go with unyielding power. Unyielding power seems like to me, the most ubiquitous and just general use. Easiest to pull off and just general use. So I'm going to go with Unyielding Power. Oh. But why, though? Hateful Mending. Skull Missile heals Mephisto for 50% of the damage it does to heroes. Why not, I guess? So I guess it's going to be a Q build. We. I'm just going to walk away. I do like how... Oh, I know, that's just the cast animation, never mind. I thought, I thought Mephisto would keep facing the direction that his skull missile was going, but no, he does not. So, that was, that was my bad. I like Hateful Mending. That one sounds pretty cool. Static Barrier. At the end of its duration, Lightning Nova grants Mephisto a shield equal to 50% of the damage it deals, which lasts 7 seconds. Mean, keep in mind that, uh, small caveat, it deals to heroes for 7 seconds. So, that takes 2.5 seconds to get any kind of benefit out of and you have to position yourself properly for it. I guess like that's just how all mages work so but this guy's pretty close range honestly. Maybe it's not gonna be as bad to deal with as I first anticipated but I highly doubt that. They, Heroes of the Storm has yet to introduce an assassin that has not been absolutely brain dead busted on release. And then lastly Spite. Increases regeneration globe healing duration by 60%. Every tick of a regen globe activates Lord of Hatred, reducing basic ability cooldowns by 0.5 seconds. So these are all sustained talents. I like them. This one also gets you more damage. This one gives you weird survivability if you're able to successfully... I want to see exactly how much I can get out of this. Level 20. Just hit people. Just hitting them. Bam! So that's an additional 2,000 health. Gotcha. Keep in mind that I have to actually like keep people at bay or keep with them i'm not a fan of it not a fan of static barrier honestly i think i'd go with hateful mending because you don't have well either hateful mending or spite i like both of them I'd, i'm gonna go with hateful mending i guess this is gonna be a q build basically um and then level 7 talents, which it doesn't really matter which one you take at level 7, because you get a level 20 talent later that gives you all of them. You have to choose which one you want, but you don't really need... Wait. Enemies near Shade of Mephisto are slowed by 50% for 2 seconds. Hitting enemy heroes with Skull Missile while the Shade of Mephisto is active increases its slow to 50%. I think they may have worded that incorrectly. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, they mean the slow for Shade of for Skull Missile. Okay, okay, my bad. They, uh, they should probably, uh... Okay, I get it now. 
Honestly, I think I'd take Ghastly Armor just because Squishy is... Bleh, 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 bleh. Squishy Mage needs defense, and this will give you some defense. 20 armor while Shade of Mephisto is active, and for two and a half seconds afterwards, so five seconds worth of 20 armor. Because, again, Shade of Mephisto grants armor while it's active, which is two and a half seconds, and then for an additional two and a half seconds after it ends. So you have, you have five seconds of 20 armor, which is really good. It's a lot better than most tanks can say they can get. Unless you're Garrosh, then you just have permanent armor, because that's your passive. And then lastly, Trickery. Shade of Mephisto grants 20% movement speed while active, and for two and a half seconds after it ends. After Shade of Mephisto expires, all slows and roots are removed from Mephisto. That'd be really good if you're up against a lot of crowd control. Uh, namely like an Arthas, or a, uh, uh, uh what's his name, Malfurion. Or some other really prominent slowing heroes, like, a. Uh, Alex Straza. Can't think of a lot of them off the top of my head. Uh, I know an Uber I can slow you if he takes a uh, bed of barbs. Uh, but honestly, this level I would take Ghastly Armor. I think Ghastly Armor is the way to go. And then I'm going to take Durance of Hate because I don't like Consumed Souls. I don't like how like brain dead easy it is. Just hit the button and you're good to go. I mean... I know it's the most popular. I know it is the best at this level. Doesn't mean I like it. In all honesty, take Consume Souls. If you just want to have the quintessential Mephisto experience, Consume Souls. Take it. Uh, cause there's only, there's only a 40 second difference between these two. Why? Come on. Either that has to do more damage. Or, no, 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 no. Either this has to do less damage. Or have a longer cast time. Or a longer cooldown, not cast time. For 120 seconds. That shit's stupid. But then again, it is Blizzard Entertainment. They don't know what they're doing, so... they Like, Blizzard Entertainment has no idea how to balance online games. Uh, case in point, they're bringing back Hanamura, and that is another point of contention that I will get into later. Much later. I... Long story short, Hanamura sucks. I don't know why they brought it back. They shouldn't have. Uh, but okay, moving on. Level 13 talents. Abhorred Skull. Hitting a hero with Skull Missile grants 20% spell power for 6 seconds. Never mind! I would take, uh, wait, what was that? Uh, blah, 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 Oh, I know, I don't know where it is. Never mind. Oh, yeah, Malicious Intent. If you take Malicious Intent, take, uh, Abhorred Skull. Uh, but I'm gonna take Abhorred Skull. Because it sounds cool. I like it. Uh, Hysteria. Lord, oh, never mind. Hysteria is the way to go. Lord of Hatred also reduces the cooldown of Mephisto's heroic abilities. And then the Shard of Hate. Basic attacks against... Or basic attacks hit enemies... Oh. And then again, you do have a really short attack range. Never mind. So that one... Shard of Hate isn't that bad. You've got a 4.5... 4.5 unit attack range. That's 4.5 blazes in between you and your primary target. I don't know how big the splash radius is. I want to find out. I feel like it's the same range as your attack range. I couldn't tell you, though. Uh, does it say hits enemies near the primary target? Yeah, it's not telling me exactly how far that is. I wish they'd give me the exact unit distance. Like, if they said hits enemies within two units of the primary target, or three units within the primary target, because I know how big that is. Blaze's character model is exactly one unit in length, or in, in diameter. Blaze's unit is Blaze as a character is one unit in diameter. So you telling me a basic attack hits enemies within three units of the target means I can have three blazes in between me and the primary target and still hit that guy on the very end. Uh, but this would be for if you took auto attack Mephisto, which seems kind of weird and I don't know why you do that, but you could, I guess. Uh, but I honestly would take Abhorrent Skull because this is a Q build, everybody. It's a Q build. Because it seems like the most simple to use. Uh, although Hysteria is definitely a solid choice. If you want to go with Hysteria, I don't blame you. It's really good. Uh, because it'd be more ultimates that you can cast faster. Which brings me back to the whole Consume Souls need to be, needs to be on a longer fucking cooldown. If you can get this, the next talent tier afterward. So, Abhorred Skull. And then... Oh, that is interesting. Lightning Reaction. Skull Missile explodes on contact with Lightning Nova. 
dealing 316 damage to nearby enemies. That sounds very interesting. I like the sounds of that. Or Static Field. When Lightning Nova's damage bonus reaches 40%, enemy heroes within its radius take damage equal to 12% of their maximum health. I guess you only get that once, but still. 12% for sitting on top of somebody. Hmm. Seems a little too strong to me. Then again, I guess, uh... Leoric, well, no, Leoric just does 25% of your max health if you stay within range, which, after, I think, 13, I think it is, I don't remember when he gets his movement speed boost, is impossible to do. You can't break his chain anymore unless you are Li Ming or Tracer. Or someone else that has hypermobility, Genji, Maiev, the list goes on. Uh, but that one, if you know what you're doing as, Ma as uh, Mephisto, you can get a lot of benefit out of Static Field. And then Animosity. Activate to extend the duration of Lightning Nova by two and a half seconds. Additionally, as a passive benefit, basic attacks while Lightning Nova is active cause an immediate pulse of Lightning Nova damage. Oh, okay then. They want you to go for an auto attack build as Mephisto, even though he's got range equal to Blaze's range or Cassia's. As a caster. A squishy, squishy caster. Interesting. I'm not against it. I just don't understand it. But I'm taking lightning reaction. This is what it this is what it looked like. So you walk in, and then Shazam. Okay, so it also keeps passing through. That's neat. Toggle cooldowns. How how okay? So I wanna I wanna go I wanna sit on top of this dude. So I cast that and then I throw it out and then I can throw out a second one if I hit enough people with it. That's, that's a little ridiculous. And I can also change where I want this thing to detonate. If I do it right, I can... Lightning Nova somebody on top of them, and then if they try to run away from my Lightning Nova explosion range, I can just kind of travel with them and then have them detonate there. That's interesting. Ooh, level 20 talents. Let's consume by hatred. Consume souls deals bonus damage equal to 10% of the target's missing health. If Consume Soul's initial cast also ca kills a hero, it will cast one additional time. I'm super fucking glad that they put that one in there. Okay, I forgot I couldn't move the mouse. Casts one additional time. I was thinking for the longest time when they introduced that, it would be if it kills somebody, cast it again. And if it kills that, cast it again, and again, until it stops killing people. Which would be fucking busted. It would be Li Ming all over again, but global, and no real counter- Well, I mean, Li Ming didn't have a counter either, but global. So, that's really nice, although, it's still the best talent. And then, Unspeakable Horror, if you take Durance of Hate. Durance of Hate silences enemies for three seconds after its root expires. Does that mean it silences on impact and then three seconds later? Or just... Rooted. Nope. Okay, so that one's pointless. Root somebody, but allow them to keep casting abilities. And then silence them after the root ends so they can't... That doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you wouldn't just have them both do the same thing at the same time. Because fucking Butcher's, uh, Butcher's Hitching Post does that. Butcher's Hitching Post, it's not a root, but you can't leave it, and it silences you. But this one is roots you for two and a half seconds, or roots you for two seconds, and silences you for three. Why not just combine the two? But, uh... The other level 20 talents are Mimic. While both Shade of Mephisto and Lightning Nova are active, Lightning Nova also casts from the Shade's location. Which sounds really interesting. I honestly like that a lot. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, so, I'll just reset talents real quick. Skull, Skull, Ghastly Armor, Durance, Skull, Skull. Mimic! So you blink in, and then you hit that, and then you have two of these things going. So if you took the Lightning talent 
at a level one, was it? Yeah, lightning talent level one, you'd be able to trigger that four times instead of two times, as long as you were standing directly on top of your target. Like, you have to, you, you, how, how? Oh, uh. If I blink forward, no, okay, so you have to blink forward and then walk forward a little bit. And it'll keep lightning casting. But it's not bad. It's a lot of area damage. I just kind of wish Lightning Nova was easier to use. Although I do appreciate that it's not just, hey, everybody inside this circle takes damage. It's not Arthas level of... It's not like supersized Arthas, uh, whatever it's called. I forget what the ability is called. What is it? I don't remember. Uh, Whirling Vortex or whatever it's called. I don't remember what, it's, what his ability is called. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, or Shade Lord. I forgot about Shade Lord. Activate to swap locations with Shade of Mephisto and refresh its duration. Passive benefit, Shade of Mephisto benefits from all of Mephisto's level 7 talents. So, movement speed for 5 seconds. Immunity, or remove all slows and roots afterwards. On top of movement speed slows for people that get hit by it, and your skull missile, and five seconds worth of armor. Every single time you cast this ability. I don't think, Choose a talent. Choose a talent. outside of consume hate, Choose a talent. that there's really Choose a talent. any contest Choose a here. Talent. Shade Lord. But if you don't want to use Shade Lord, or consumed by hatred, not consume hate, but, you know, you know what I meant. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that sounds very interesting. I also want to see exactly how easy it would be to go for just a, uh, like, auto-attack Mephisto build. I'm gonna take Anger and Hateful Mending just because I like it. I like sustainability. Mm. Nah! Spite. We're taking Spite. And then we're gonna take a Froststorm just to keep up with people. Durance of Hate just to keep up with people. Uh, Shard of Hate. Choose a talent. What was that? Mmm. Oh, yeah, Animosity. Choose animosity, and lastly, Mimic, just for the hell of it. So how does Animosity work again? Activate to extend the duration of Lightning Nova by two and a half seconds, so make it last five seconds. So you can basically completely remove the cooldown of anim or of uh, Lightning Nova if you use Animosity with it. Additionally, basic attacks while Lightning Nova is active cause an immediate pull. Does that mean I can just hit whoever? No, I have to actually hit somebody. So, okay. Let's see here real quick. We're gonna extend the duration. There we go. That's where I wanted to be standing. I wanted to be I want to stand like right here. So whoops, I keep I keep misclicking. There we go. So I click the dude. And then I can blink forward. And then I can animosity. Keep in mind that nobody's actually just gonna sit there and let you do that. But you can do that every 15 seconds. So let's 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 try moving around a little bit. So we're gonna lightning nova, blink in, keep moving. And oh and I didn't have enough time for animosity. But we're gonna lightning nova, blink in, animosity. Hit everybody. I think I did that way too early. No, no, I didn't. Okay, so it doesn't matter when you activate animosity. It just it'll extend it by two and a half seconds, an additional two and a half seconds. So, yeah, that one sounds really annoying to deal with because he's blinking around. He just like lightning nova, blink animosity, keep it going, keep walking around, and keep auto attacking because your auto attacks splash for some reason, and they also lower your cooldowns. I need to see something real quick though. If I just throw that. Okay, yep. It takes every single person hit by your auto attack will lower your cooldown if you take. Uh, hey, anger. Um, I'm torn between anger or hysteria, although Shard of Hate definitely, definitely is a big, big, big benefit. But if you really don't like people, you can just Durance of Hate them. Animosity, blink in. Oh, I hit the boss. Whoops, I'm sorry, boss. Sorry, big guy. And I can just blink over here again and do it all over again. He's fucking unstoppable. This is, keep in mind, this is without cooldown reduction on. Or, yeah, this is without cooldowns. I did burn through all of my mana to do this, but that is without mana cost, or that is without using a single toggle, or, yeah, toggle cooldowns. That was all just natural. That's ridiculous. 
I mean, it's gonna be like it's nowhere. It's not going to be anywhere near as that effective, but it's still going to be ridiculous to try and pull off. He has a lot of health. Holy shit! It's still gonna be amazing to see it happen. Blink in. I think actually, instead of mimic, take Shade Lord. Oh no 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 no! You have to take mimic because it. It, uh, it mimic is the whole thing that, uh, why I'm getting so much cooldown reduction. Because you blink forward, you hit that, and then you're both casting it, and then you activate animosity to keep the lightning storm going. And then you lower your cooldown again as long as you're continuously hitting people. So, not too bad. Not too bad in the slightest. I like that one a lot. It's gonna be very, very all in. And if you don't do it right, you're gonna get your ass beat. But, you could also take Furious Spark if you just want more damage. I like Anger because it lets me get more cooldown reduction. Um, and then Spite, if you really wanted to go for it, you could take Static Barrier instead of Spite. But, I do like Spite. I like Regen Globes. Does that mean it increases the duration of... I, I want to see something. Let's uh, toggle minions. I want to see if that also increases the duration of the... Whatever it's called. Of the mana return that you get. So, I'm just going to walk up here. I'm going to hit these... What? Holy shit. That's everything. Okay, so... That is one... Isn't... Aren't regen globes like 10% of your max mana? Or 10% of your max health and mana? This just hits everything? Yup, this just hits everything. Okay. That's a little ridiculous. Never mind, Shard of Hate. Shard of Hate, best talent. I'm pretty sure that is not doing what I think it should. But we're going to reset talents. We're going to take Anger. We're going to take Static Barrier. We're going to take Trickery. Durance of Hate. Shard of Hate. Animosity. And Mimic. So... I just want the minions to respawn all uh, refresh forts real quick and just respawn all the monster or all the minions because I'm pretty sure that my I'll just throw Durance hate real quick I'm pretty sure that it does not increase how much mana you get back Bop. it does increase how much mana you get back okay never mind I like spite spites if you want to lane so this is hybrid Mephisto laning build, I guess. It's it's really good at laning and melting people. So that's interesting. Like, look at that. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Hit everything. I guess it does say everything. And I guess Junkrat does the same thing. But I'm pretty sure Junkrat's auto attacks don't hit every minion if you're attacking the caster minion. I could be wrong. I don't remember how big Junkrat's explosion radius is on his auto attacks. But that one sounds really cool. And then lastly, obviously, Lightning Build. Furious Spark, every fifth hit from Lightning Nova deals bonus damage. We're going Lightning Build, baby. I still don't know how I feel about Static Barrier, especially if you take Animosity, because that's five seconds it takes to get your shield now. Uh, it's kind of weird. Static Barrier, I don't think, is going to be the popular choice. But, it's thematic, so we're taking Static Barrier. And we're going to take Ghastly Armor, because I like Ghastly Armor. And obviously, Consume Souls, because fuck people who want to play this game. <laughs> and then Hysteria, just so I can lower that cooldown even more. Um, when Lightning Nova's damage reaches... I'm torn between Animosity or Static Field. I feel like... I'll try them both real quick. I'll see if... Uh, Static Field does more damage than Animosity. So that was 197. And then an additional 400. Would I... Oh, wait, I was also auto-attacking. Uh, let's reset that real quick. So let's see if I'm able to keep Lightning Nova on some... Oh, uh, 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 toggle cooldowns. There we go. I believe Lightning Nova is the same... Yeah, if I'm auto-attacking somebody, I can also Lightning Nova them. So that was 1,500, total damage, 3,400, 3,500 roughly, damage. Um, let's see what happens if I take Animosity. Reset Talents, 
Furious Spark, Static Barrier, Ghastly Armor, Consume Souls, Fuck It, Hysteria, and Animosity. So 3,500 compared to... We're going to refresh that. No, that one's way more damage. It's also a lot more forgiving. It gives you more cooldown reduction. I also want to see something real quick. Um, if I Animosity while Lightning Nova's going on, do I get the barrier... Bam. No. Okay, so it actually has to end. Lightning Barrier, or Lightning Nova has to end for me to get the shields back. But, this does allow me to keep going, or keep the uh, attack going. From the Lord of Hatred. Yeah, that's, uh, it's not bad. Uh, I think Mimic is the way to go here, obviously. So, we're gonna, we're gonna Lightning Nova, oh wait, we're not gonna Lightning Nova, never mind. We're gonna toggle cooldowns real quick. We're gonna toggle, untoggle cooldowns real quick. We're gonna Lightning Nova, and then we're gonna Blink, and then we're gonna Animosity, just to keep it all going. Then we're gonna hit that, then we're gonna throw this out, then we're gonna Lightning no Oh my god, look at all the shields I have! What the fuck?! Yup, this is the talent to go with. If you wanna be unkillable after five seconds, do this build. I have 20,000 health in shields. What? <laughs> okay, I had 18,000 health and shields. What the hell? That was without cooldowns being toggled on or off. Admittedly, I had to hit like five people to do that. But still, I don't know what to tell you, man. If you can pull that off once, then you can keep doing it until you're out of mana. And then you're unkillable because you just got 25,000 health in shields for seven seconds. As a mage, Li Ming, eat your fucking heart out. I mean, or not Li Ming, Cho'Gall, eat your fucking heart out. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Holy shit. I understand this hero now. They just don't give a fuck. But yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting. I definitely would be going for lightning, or, uh, skull missile build, because I just want to see how much damage Skull Missile does and how much healing you can get out of it. Um, just in total. I'm still gonna take Mimic just to lower all my cooldowns again. And I just want to see exactly... So let's say I've been doing really fucking bad at landing my quest. So that's 152. I'm gonna throw out another one. I missed how much damage that was. 152 is across the board. So, I hit enough people, so we're gonna complete quest real quick. I'm just gonna throw that out, I'm gonna throw you out, I'm gonna warp over here, I'm gonna throw that out. And I'm just gonna throw this. Maybe I should've started with that. I think I should start with the Durance of Hate. But, I didn't. He is definitely one slippery bastard, but if you know where his shade is, you can stop him real quick. Oh, that's not hitting anybody. <laughs> I can definitely see this hero being very, very, very strong. I don't... I want to see exactly how much health I can get off these. Off these. So, that's 120... 127. On top of how much bonus damage? On top of 60. So, that's 180. And the cooldown of it is down to 5 seconds. So, I'm just gonna... Just gonna get shot a little bit. I'm just gonna, just gonna recall in front of you. Oh, okay, that red that red icon underneath my health bar was the tower telling me it was shooting me. Gotcha. So we're gonna throw that out. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I like... Uh, mm, never mind, that's not very good healing. Compare... So, 76, if you're able to consistently hit skull missiles, compared to uh, toggle cooldowns, reset talents, unyielding... Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want... I want unyielding. I want spite. Choose a talent. Uh, frost armor, or ghostly armor, ghastly armor, my bad. Abhorred skull, lightning Oh yeah, I also didn't do lightning reaction, I forgot about that. Does that count? Does lightning count? Does lightning, lightning reaction count? For healing? Uh, reset talents, unyielding, hateful mending, ghostly armor, durance of hate, abhorred skull, lightning reaction, and unspeakable. No, 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 I want mimic. Uh, whoops. Okay, I'm sorry, this is the last time I'm doing this. Durance of Hate, Abhorred Skull, Lightning Reaction, Mimic. I want to see something real quick. So if I Lightning Nova, blink in. It does detonate twice. Okay. 
So we're gonna complete quest real quick just to finish this. Just I want to see if it does not hold or it does not heal me for the bonus damage. Okay. But the thing does detonate multiple times if you do that. Blink in, Lightning Nova. Woo! Yeah, this thing, this this will detonate multiple times on your uh, Lightning Novas if you stack them up. So get ready to cast, blink, blink out, and then you can detonate it three times if you f blink in the direction your Skull Missile is going. Whoops, I didn't do that right. But okay, we're going to try this again. We're just going to throw you out because I can reset my... There we go. So, blink, lightning, skull, and then I go back and then I skull a second time. And I can keep going because my cooldowns don't exist as long as I'm hitting people. As long as I have mana to keep casting abilities, my cooldowns are non-existent. This hero is going to be really annoying to deal with if you like later as the game progresses he's going to be really annoying to deal with because i mean admittedly no fight is ever going to sit in one spot but as you're landing shots you're becoming more terrifying because you're getting more spell power and you're harder to hit because you have shorter cooldowns also the cooldown on that is 20 eight seconds and 20 mana that thing is cheap as fuck it's also pretty good at doing everything. I mean, it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but you get it out a lot, so why not? But yeah, that's that's Mephisto. He sounds interesting. Before we go, I want to see his dance. I think I already know what it is, but I want to see it anyways. Yeah, walk like an Egyptian, basically, without the legs. I like it, I like it. And what is his taunt? Oh, that's not terrifying in the slightest. Fear the strength of the burning hells? No, thank you. But I am gonna go. I feel like this has been a pretty in-depth video. Um, I don't know how long exactly it's been, but I know we've been here a while. Um, you're not gonna tell me exactly how long I've been in this, are you? No, you're not. Um, but basically, level level four, I feel like you could go for anything. Spite would be decent. Oh yeah, I never actually checked to see how much healing Spite actually got me. Uh, compared to 76 health, I don't think it's going to be as much, but it's also just going to be more general use, because it's going to be... Mm, let's find out. Unyielding power, spite, ghastly armor, durance of hate, abhor it's called, lightning reaction, and obviously mimic. So we're going to toggle minions, I'm going to go get shot by the tower a little bit, and then I'm going to just steal some souls off of, uh, off these guys. All right, so we're going to throw that out real quick. Give me this. Nah, that's not that's not nearly as good. Never mind. I like hateful mending is for team fight sustain. So, I'll go with that. That's the one that I would go with. So, yeah, my first build is unyielding power, hateful mending. Whoops. Hateful mending, ghastly armor because I like taking less damage every time I blink. Durance of Hate, because I don't want to use Consume Souls. I know it's the better one. It is infinitely the better choice. There is absolutely no reason to not take this. The only people who can really get away from it are Maiev, People with Ice Block, and, um, uh, buh, 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 or any Ice Block alternative, and Illidan, if he can find you before you finish casting with his hunt. Um... But if you cast this in the middle of a fight, you're going to die. Because it's two and a half seconds of you sitting still. It's two and a half seconds of you waving your hands like a... Oh, wait. I didn't take the right ultimate. But you get it. Two and a half seconds of you waving your hands like a fucking weeb. And... It's just... Yeah. It's not going to go well for you. If you're sitting in the middle of a team fight. Um... But... <clears throat> I do like Mimic. Mimic is going to let you get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of benefit out of... Actually, no. If you're going for lightning, if you're going for uh, Q build, take Froststorm instead. Because it'll make enemies easier to keep pace with. Because it makes Mephisto's shade slow people that you hurt when you arrive by 50%. It also makes your skull missiles slow them by 50%. Instead of it being a 25% slow. So, yeah. If you, if you take... Mm, I guess it depends on the situation. 
If you don't have to worry about the enemy team killing you immediately, Frostorm. If you do have to worry about the enemy team killing you immediately, Ghastly Armor. But I'm gonna go. I hope this was as educational as I was hoping it would be. But I'm gonna go. For those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you Ramblers, I will catch you all next time. Uh, when they introduce a new, another hero in Heroes of the Storm, or I decide to show off a build that I really enjoy in Warframe, or any other game that I like to play. So I'm gonna go! Hope y'all enjoy this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody, it's been a ton of fun.